Albuquerque International Sunport IATA, ABQ, ICAO, KABQ, FAA LID, ABQ is a public airport 3 miles 5 kilometers southeast of downtown Albuquerque, in Bernalillo County, New Mexico, United States. It is the largest commercial airport in the state of New Mexico, handling 4,958,417 passengers in 2017. The airport serves Albuquerque and Santa Fe also served by Santa Fe Regional Airport. History Albuquerque was first served by two private airports. Oxnard Field opened in 1928, and West Mesa Airport, also known as the TWA Airport, opened in 1930. The first airlines to serve the airports were Transcontinental Air Transport TAT, Western Air Express WAE, and Mid-Continent Air Express, all inaugurating service in 1929. At first the airlines operated from Oxnard Field which was also called Albuquerque Airport but moved to the West Mesa Airport for most of the 1930s decade. TAT and WAE merged in 1930 to form Transcontinental and Western Air TWA. Mid-Continent Air Express service was replaced by Varney Speed Lines in 1934. Three years later Varney changed its name to Continental Airlines. In 1935 it was suggested that the city build a new public airport using Works Progress Administration money. Having secured $520,500 in funding, Governor Clyde Tingley broke ground for the project on February 28, 1937. Albuquerque Municipal Airport opened in 1939 with two paved runways, a Pueblo-style terminal building designed by Ernest Blumenthal, and a massive hangar designed to accommodate the new Boeing 307 operated by TWA. TWA became Trans World Airlines in 1946. Monarch Airlines came to Albuquerque in 1947 then merged with other carriers to become Frontier Airlines in 1950. The airport was renamed Albuquerque Sunport on April 17, 1963. The April 1957 official airline guide shows 31 weekday departures, 13 on Continental Airlines, 12 on TWA and 6 on Frontier Airlines. Trans-Texas Airways later Texas International Airlines came to Albuquerque in 1963 rounding out the first four carriers to serve the airport prior to the Airline Deregulation Act of 1978. The present terminal was designed by William E. Burke, Jr. It s built just east of the original terminal, and opened on November 12, 1965. At first the terminal had eight gates, four at the main building and another four at a small satellite building to the south connected by an underground tunnel. None of the gates had jet bridges. The terminal has since been expanded several times, first in 1971 when a west wing was added with a large gate and jet bridge able to handle new wide-body aircraft. TWA used this gate to introduce the Lockheed L-1011 to Albuquerque in 1974 with flights to Chicago. After airline deregulation was passed in 1978, a flood of new airlines came to ABQ. The West Wing was expanded in 1980 with three more gates, all of which had jet bridges and were used extensively by TWA and many new carriers. Southwest Airlines started service on April 3, 1980, using the old gates 1 and 2 at the main terminal and installed three ground-level jet bridges at these two gates. From 1987 through 1989 the terminal was expanded and renovated advertising a design by Philip Jacobson and BPLW Associates. The satellite gate building was replaced with two concourses, A and B, giving the Sunport 19 new gates, all with jet bridges. Concourse A was further expanded in 1996 with four additional gates. The new above-ground connector link to the concourses was greatly expanded in 2005 to accommodate the need for additional security screening by the TSA after the September 11 attacks in 2001. The airport gained international status and was renamed the Albuquerque International Airport on September 27, 1971. The name was changed to Albuquerque International Sunport in 1994. The old terminal of 1939 has been restored and houses offices of the Transportation Security Administration. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1988. Topic. Historical airline service 
The Sunport is currently served by Alaska, Allegiant, American, Delta, Frontier, JetBlue, Southwest, and United Airlines as well as one commuter airline, Boutique Air. Total weekday departures will be at 90 flights per day in the summer of 2018 however the Sunport peaked with 163 flights per day in December, 1995 and again in August, 2001. In the past Albuquerque has been served by the following commercial airlines. TWA, Continental, Frontier 1950-1986, Texas International, Eastern, Western, Northwest, America West, Braniff, Pan Am, Wien Air Alaska, PSA, Reno Air, Western Pacific, Aeromexico, and U.S. Airways. TWA was the grandfather carrier since passenger flights commenced in 1929 as Albuquerque was one of many stops on the carrier's mainline route between Los Angeles and New York, tucked in between Winslow, Arizona and Amarillo, Texas. TWA consistently expanded with more flights and larger aircraft including the first jets to serve ABQ with the Boeing 707 and Convair 880 in 1961. In 1974, TWA introduced the first wide-body jet to ABQ with the Lockheed 1011. Service peaked in 1979 with 21 daily departures to 13 major cities including non-stops to Los Angeles and New York. After airline deregulation in the early 1980s, TWA downsized its operation and by 1985 was only offering flights to its primary hub at St. Louis. Service continued until December 2, 2001, when the carrier merged with American Airlines. Continental Airlines was the second major player serving Albuquerque since 1934 as a stop on its mainline north-south route between Denver and El Paso. In 1940 Continental added new service to several smaller cities in southeastern New Mexico but that service was all transferred to Frontier and Trans-Texas Airways in 1963. In the latter half of the 1960s Continental expanded with Boeing 720, Boeing 727, and Douglas DC-9 jets offering non-stop service to Chicago, Dallas, Denver, El Paso, Lubbock, Midland, Odessa, San Antonio, and San Francisco. Service peaked in the summer of 1977 with 24 daily departures. Continental as well began to downsize its operation after airline deregulation and by 1994 was only offering flights to its Houston hub although a non-stop flight to Newark was added for a period in the mid-2000s. Continental merged with United Airlines in 2012. Frontier Airlines began service to Albuquerque in 1947 as Monarch Airlines, and provided flights to smaller cities throughout the Four Corners states. Service was expanded in the 1960s with Boeing 727 and Boeing 737 jets to Denver, El Paso, Phoenix, Tucson, Dallas, and Las Vegas and in 1973 Frontier operated 19 daily flights at ABQ. Direct flights to several resort cities in Mexico were added in the early 1980s but the carrier closed down in 1986. A new Frontier Airlines came to ABQ in 1994 with flights to Denver and El Paso. The carrier discontinued service in 2014 but returned in October, 2017 with flights once again to Denver. Service to Austin, Orlando and San Antonio were added in 20 L8. In 1963 Trans-Texas Airways TTA came to Albuquerque by taking over service to the smaller cities in New Mexico that Continental had served. It later expanded with non-stop Douglas DC-9 jets to Dallas and Los Angeles. TTA became Texas International Airlines in 1969 and also flew DC-9s from ABQ to Santa Fe and Roswell, New Mexico. The carrier peaked in 1975 with 15 daily departures and merged with Continental Airlines in 1982. Southwest Airlines began service to the Sunport in 1980 and expanded quickly creating a hub at ABQ. The carrier took over the number one spot by the early 1980s and peaked with 66 daily departures in October 2001. Although Southwest has cut back significantly since then, so far it has served 28 cities non-stop from ABQ. American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and United Airlines have all had major roles at the airport providing service to many of their primary hubs since the early 1980s. At least 34 commuter and regional airlines have served ABQ, the largest of these by far was Mesa Airlines which served the Sunport from 1980 through 2007. 
Mesa peaked with 46 daily departures in 1990 and served 18 cities non-stop from ABQ to points throughout New Mexico and Colorado. Mesa still serves ABQ but now as a regional airline providing feeder service for American Eagle and United Express using regional jets. Other regional airlines serving the airport on behalf of the majors are, SkyWest, ExpressJet, Republic, TransStates, GoJet, Compass, Envoy, and Horizon Air, Sun Country Airlines, Extra Airways, Swift Air, and Elite Airways also serve ABQ with regular public charter flights to Laughlin and Wendover, Nevada. Military facilities and operations The Sunport began a new role in 1940 when it was designated Albuquerque Army Air Base, the precursor to today's Kirtland Air Force Base. The airport continues to share its runways with Kirtland AFB, which also handles rescue and firefighting operations. An Air Force Global Strike Command AFGSC installation, the host unit is the 377th Air Base Wing 377 ABW. Flying units at Kirtland AFB consist of the 58th Special Operations Wing 58 so of the Air Education and Training Command AETC and the 150th Fighter Wing 150 FW, an Air Combat Command ACC gained unit of the New Mexico Air National Guard. Topic. Future developments The airport master plan drafted in 2002 lays out intermediate and long-term projects at the Sunport, including the removal of runway 1735 and the construction of a second terminal when traffic demands it. The runway closure recommendation was based on safety, noise abatement, and the cost of upkeep. Because 1735ths intersected all three of the other runways, it ran the highest risk of runway incursions. The runway was closed in summer 2012, and the tarmac is used for taxiing aircraft, and for a firefighting training aircraft located on the north end. The configuration of the other three runways, in conjunction with typical wind patterns, enabled them to handle departures and landings more efficiently. In the longer term, the plan calls for a new terminal to be built to the northeast of the existing terminal. A people mover system will connect the terminal with parking facilities and the existing terminal. Topic: <laughs> Facilities and aircraft. Albuquerque International Sunport Airport covers 2039 acres, 825 hectares and has 3 runways. In 2014 the airport had 130,002 aircraft operations, an average of 356 per days, 40% scheduled commercial, 21% air taxi, 24% general aviation and 15% military. As of November 2017, there were 139 fixed-wing aircraft and 19 helicopters based at the airport, 40 approximately 25% of which were military-affiliated. ABQ's terminal, which was expanded in the late 1980s, and again to its present size in 1996, encompasses 574,000 square feet square meters of space. The airport has a Pueblo Revival-style passenger terminal which houses two concourses and an area for commuter airline gates. The largest passenger aircraft scheduled into Albuquerque is the Boeing 737-900, operated by Alaska Airlines, Delta Air Lines, and United Airlines on flights from Atlanta, Denver, and Seattle. The largest commercial aircraft the Sunport usually sees is a FedEx McDonnell Douglas DC-10 to Memphis. In 2013 the aerial firefighting company, 10 Tanker Air Carrier, moved its headquarters to Albuquerque and currently have three DC-10 large air tankers based out of Albuquerque International Sunport. The largest aircraft of any type to regularly visit the Sunport is the C-5 Galaxy. In 1974 and again from 1982 through 1992 the airport had scheduled Trans World Airlines Lockheed L-1011s. The largest aircraft to have ever visited the Sunport is the Antonov N-124, which have landed at the airport on a couple of extremely rare occasions. Topic terminal Albuquerque International Sunport has one terminal with 25 gates in four concourses, including a concourse for commuter airline gates. Concourse A has 13 gates, A1A12, A14. 
Concourse B has nine gates, B1, B3, B10 Gate B2 was removed during the Security Hall expansion in 2005. Concourse E has two gates, E1 and E2. Concourse C, originally known as the West Wing, consisted of four gates 11, 12, 14, and 15. Gate 11 was closed when the terminal was expanded in 1989 and the remaining three gates were renumbered to C1, C2, and C3. TWA continued to use these gates for a few more years until gates C2 and C3 showed signs of structural failure and later had to be demolished. TWA moved to Concourse B and the lobby area of Gate C1 the gate built in 1971 has mostly been converted to office space. The lower level of Gate C1 houses U.S. Customs and is still used for occasional international arriving flights. Concourse D was a ground-level commuter aircraft concourse that was used by Great Plains Airlines. It was closed in 2004 after Great Plains Airlines liquidated due to insolvency. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Topic Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Top Domestic Destinations Topic Airline Market Share Topic Annual Traffic Topic Aircraft Operations The data below lists annual total aircraft operations from 2004 to 2017 from the FAA's Air Traffic Activity System. The percent changes indicate an average of minus 2.91% in aircraft operations per year over the last 10 years. The airport's freight center moved 60,000 short tons t of cargo in 2016, a 7% decline from 64,000 short tons t during the 2012 calendar year. <laughs> General aviation support Support for private, corporate, and general aviation aircraft pilots and passengers are handled by two fixed base operators at Albuquerque International Sunport, Atlantic Aviation and Qatar Aviation and Albuquerque Aero Services which handles avionics and electrical. All three are located on the southeast section of the airport off Clark Car Loop. <laughs> Ground transportation Topic Bus ABQ Ride offers bus service routes 50, 222, and 250 at the west side of the baggage claim area. Topic Commuter Train ABQ Ride Route 222 provides connecting service to the New Mexico Rail Runner Express Bernalillo County, International Sunport Station, while ABQ Ride Route 250 provides non-stop service to the Alvarado Transportation Center in downtown Albuquerque. The Rail Runner provides service north and south of the airport, including downtown Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Rental car service ABQ operates the Car Rental Center and provides free, courtesy shuttles every five minutes between the airport terminal and the facility. The following companies are located at the Car Rental Center, Advantage, Alamo, Avis, Budget, Dollar, Enterprise, Hertz, National, Payless and Thrifty. Scheduled shuttle bus service 
Regularly scheduled bus and shuttle service is provided by various carriers to locations from ABQ to the city and to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Topic: <laughs> Taxi. Taxis can be hailed through the ground transportation employees outside the baggage claim areas. Topic: Incidents and accidents On February 19, 1955, TWA Flight 260, a Martin 404 bound for Santa Fe, crashed into the Sandia Mountains shortly after takeoff. All 16 people on board the flight were killed. On September 11, 1958, a U.S. Air Force F-102 Delta Dagger slid off the end of runway 35 in heavy rain and struck a car on Gibson Boulevard before coming to rest in an empty lot on the north side of the street. Both occupants of the car were killed. On November 24, 1971, in the early morning hours, TWA Flight 106, a Boeing 727 destined for Chicago, was hijacked to Cuba. The hijackers, three men who had killed a New Mexico State Police officer two weeks prior, were taken into custody in Havana and never returned to the United States. On November 3, 1973, National Airlines Flight 27, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10, suffered a catastrophic engine failure over an area near Detail, NM while en route from Houston to Las Vegas. Shrapnel from the engine struck the fuselage and caused an explosive decompression of the aircraft. One passenger was blown out of the cabin and killed. The plane was able to make an emergency landing at ABQ with no further fatalities. On September 14, 1977, a USAF Boeing EC-135 crashed into the Manzano Mountains just after takeoff, killing all 20 people on board. On July 6, 1997, Delta Airlines Flight 1470, a Boeing 727 suffered a right landing gear failure after landing on runway 21. While there were no fatalities, three people were injured and the aircraft suffered serious damage. <inaudible> Amenities The Sunport provides free Wi-Fi Internet access. In February 2005, the Sunport was voted one of the top five U.S. airports for wireless access, according to a Microsoft Small Business Center poll. The Sunport was the only one among the top five that provided free internet. As of April 2017, the service is still provided free. There is a free cell phone parking area, where meters and greeters can park and wait for a call from their arriving passenger before driving to the front of the terminal for pickup. There are two free aircraft observation areas, including one near the aforementioned cell phone lot that is adjacent to now closed runway 1735. A larger observation area is at the southwest corner of the airfield property, near the approach end of runway 3 and accessible from Spirit Drive SE. These areas were created to replace a large parking area adjacent to the approach ends of runways 8 and 12 that closed in 2007. An Eclipse Aerospace aircraft painting facility now occupies this location. 